Well, in Georgia, meantime, as you just heard Janice mention, residents along the coast being urged to leave immediately. Homes and businesses now boarded up, and with just a few hours until impact, officials say waiting out the storm could have deadly consequences. Caroline Shively is live for us in Savannah with some new information on the evacuations there. Caroline, what are you hearing? Good morning, Heather and Abby. We are hearing the buses start rolling again at 6 a.m. today. They want the last few stragglers out of here. To the east of 95, where we are right now, it is mandatory evacuations. Uh, the people still here will have six hours to get on those buses to go inland. And after that, uh, the mayor and the governor say that the first responders are going to go home, gather their things and their families, and they are going to be out of here. So tonight, when this storm hits the Georgia coast, there won't be anyone to come rescue you. That's why they have these buses running and they want everyone out. Here's what the mayor had to say. You've got people that will not move and will not go, but then when all of a sudden the house starts coming down out there at the beach or something, then you start wondering, well, you know, maybe I made the wrong decision. Well, that's too late. And think about the institutional knowledge that is lacking here in Georgia. The last major hurricane, a Cat 3 or above, to hit this state uh, was in 1898. The last hurricane of any kind to hit here was 1979. That was David. It was a very weak hurricane. We are dealing with a very different situation here. Georgia is incredibly vulnerable because of all of the inlets, because of the low-lying areas. We're only about 15 meters above sea level here in Savannah, guys. Uh, and further inland could be looking at some ugly things too. Because we have Florida to the south and North Carolina a bit of ways away, they normally take the brunt of these storms. So this will be a new experience for anyone we've talked to. No one knows what will happen when a hurricane hits, but they'll be finding out tonight. Heather Savannah, Randy, a very, to very historic area there. So hopefully so they will well. be spared the brunt of it. Thank you, Caroline. Thanks, Caroline.